morning, boxers. I am Maritza Jimenez. Today is Monday, February 24th, 2014. Um, we're going to start off our boxer news with Miss Ami and Jesse. Jesse interviewed Miss Ami, so let's see how it goes. Good morning, boxers. Jesse Marquez here. Good morning to you. And you are? I'm Miss Ami. She is Miss Ami. Yeah. Uh, so, how long have you been a teacher? I have been teaching for seven years. I started in 2000, but all together seven years. I took a few years off to get my master's degree and to do a few other things. So what inspired you to become a teacher? That's a really good question. Um, I was writing for a music magazine, and it was so empty and shallow, and I wanted to do something that was going to be rewarding. So, and at the time in 2000, there was a huge lack of English teachers. So I observed at Hollywood High School for a few weeks and just fell in love with the kids and with the staff. And I am very passionate about English and my content area, so it just kind of felt like a natural fit. That's nice. I'm glad to hear that. Yeah. Um, so how are you liking the A Crest Five family? I can honestly say this is the best school I have ever worked at. I can honestly say that. I love my fellow teachers. Um, and no offense, but I love my students even more. <laughs> um, and I'm having the time of my life. Thank you. No, not I'm you. I'm glad to You're hear not that. my student. <laughs> you still love me. Okay. So aside from English, what else do you want your students to gain from having you as a teacher? Well, I always hope that my students leave my class knowing that they have a story to tell and that their story is precious. It's their soul. It's their most precious um, asset or um, I can't think of another word, I'm sorry. I'm at a loss for words and I'm an English teacher, but... <laughs> the irony. <laughs> Good use of the word. Um, so, no, I want my students to be able to tell their story and to feel how special and important their story is. Good, I'm glad to hear that. So, the word around campus is that you're very humorous and that you make learning fun and engaging. Aww. How is that so? <laughs> wow, Which, who's told you that? <laughs> how much do they pay you? Tell me that. Um, I don't know. I my students amuse me. I'm glad that I amuse them. I think life is a series of absurdities, and if we can't laugh at those absurdities, then it's going to be a long life. <laughs> um, and I think that I I have told some stories that are funny. I've been locked in bathrooms with cockroaches in Calcutta. I've been chased by um, a La Niña de la Tierra. That was terrifying, and. They're not supposed to be funny, but they make kids laugh because there are crazy situations that I found myself in. <laughs> well, this interview has been very, very serious. Let's move on to like a subject more fun. Okay. Okay. So, what's your favorite color? Green. Green. Why is that? It's the color of growth, um, renewed energy, inspiration, and it's the color of money. <laughs> Cream, cash rules, <laughs> not the subjects. I'm just kidding. That's I didn't become a teacher for the money. Not the subjects, though. <laughs> so, who do you like dolphins? Um, they're terrifying. I actually always loved dolphins, and then my husband and I went to Cancun, and we got to feed and play with and ride on dolphins, and I realized that they should be in the ocean. They should not be. <laughs> we shouldn't be feeding them. Like, all of a sudden, I felt how powerful and terrifying they could be. Would you ever go skydiving? Funny you should say that. I am terrified of heights, but I recently did went parasailing. I conquered that fear. And I, thanks, thanks. Um, thanks to Ajay, my husband, who pushes me into doing scary things like that. And then we talked about it last night. I think I would maybe be interested in learning about it. Mm. <laughs> That's about it. So for dinner tonight, which would you prefer? Barbecue ribs or flame grilled steak? Well, as you guys know, or you didn't know, I'm vegetarian, so neither. <laughs> okay, well as you guys can Does see... Does this feel like, like a really surreal interview to you guys? This is an interview. Okay, okay. so boxers... This so is I, I will be eating a vegetarian delicious soup of vegetables. So no meat. No meat. That sucks. <laughs> okay, so boxers, this is Miss Ami. Let's give her... A great big welcome, which is overdue. She likes green. She's very, very passionate about teaching. Mm -hmm. She she's trying to conquer heights. Yes. Let's have a great week, boxers. See you around. Thank you, Jeff.
Jesse for that wonderful interview with Miss Ami. Miss Ami, we are very happy to have you in our boxer family. Well, here's more announcements with Rachel and Cindy. Cindy for Cross Country and Rachel Bear Fitness Club. Okay, good morning, boxers. I'm Cindy. YPI is having a meeting for Cross Country. For those who are runners or want to start running, we'll be having a meeting in room 202 of Mr. Renegas' class on Wednesday the 26th at 2.30. This is for boys and girls from 9th to 12th grade. I hope to see you guys soon. Bye. Hi Boxers, uh, this is Rachel from YPI. I'm just here to make an announcement about the Fitness Club. Fitness, Fitness Club invites you to join us this week. We'll be going to South Park and playing tennis. So um, we're also playing other sports with the Fitness Club. So if you would like to join, it's not too late. Um, every Tuesday and Thursday from 4 to 5 and get a permission slip from the YPI office. Thank you, bye. Join Cross Country and Fitness Club Boxers. We all can be runners and we can all get fit. And here is an interview, a very prestigious interview, with Beto and Johnny Cortez. Notice the height. Good morning, Boxers. My name is Beto and I'm here with Johnny Cortez. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. And today we're just going to talk about his experience uh, with the field trip that he went with NASA. And Johnny, I'm just going to ask you some questions and, you know, yeah, right. well. Uh, did you like what did you like what did you like about it like like what was so cool about it? Uh, I enjoyed being able to see a live feed from people actually floating in space. That sounds pretty cool. And um, like, uh, would you like to major in it? Yes, I would like to major in aerospace engineering. Like why? Um, just so I could be picked uh, as an engineer to work on the International Space Station. I want to float around. That's pretty cool. You need to do it like a lot. You need to know a lot of math, huh? Yeah, and I'm terrible at math. I'm gonna have to, <laughs> have to um, try very hard. Yeah, you have to. You have to try. I hate math too. <laughs> and, uh, by the way, like I hate it. And uh, like, did you have fun at the field trip? At the yes, I did. A lot of fun. I wish I could have gone. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> and like, what caught your eye about it? Um, the thing that most interested me was, uh, I guess. Being able to talk to the, um, the guy in charge uh, of the whole International Space Station, he was the one that was like, kind of commander, so that was pretty cool. That sounds cool. And uh, like, how tall are you, Johnny? <laughs> I'm six foot three. <laughs> I'm five eight. I wish I was six three. <laughs> it gets hard, it gets hard. You should play basketball. Everyone tells me that. <laughs> Nice to meet you, Johnny. Nice to meet you. And that's, there you go, boxers. Hello, my name is Marcos Gonzalez. I'm a 10th grader at College Ready Academy High School number five. Uh, Guichi, do you have laws you have to follow on the space station? And if so, who is the governing body? And what are the repercussions of breaking laws? I think Rick gov thinks he governs the uh, space station, but the, uh, uh, we have uh, uh, treaties and agreements among the uh, partner nations of the International Space Station, and uh, that defines or uh, that governs uh, how the uh, space station operation will be conducted. And also, uh, we have a crew code of conduct uh, that applies to all astronauts to follow. And, uh, but as far as the law, uh, to an individual astronaut uh, flying in space, uh, the country the, uh, from, from which uh, the astronaut is from, its domestic uh, uh, law will apply to the individual astronaut. My name is Johnny Cortez. I am a 10th grader at College Ready Academy High School number five. Rick, what is your daily hygienic routine in space and how hard is it to shave? That's a personal question. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, the, uh, you know, I, I like to say that uh, space is the place where the impossible is easy. 
and the things that are used to be easy are now difficult. So things like uh, simply brushing your teeth and washing your face and shaving are much more difficult. You know, we don't have uh, running water up here, so basically we just fill up small bags of water. I squirt some water on my face, a little bit of shaving cream, and I shave. But there's no way to rinse the blade, so basically I have to use up a whole blade every day. Uh, and luckily, NASA provides me a new blade every day. So it's not much different, but uh, it is quite a, a little bit different. Hi my, oh, hi, my name is Kaylin Peralta, and I am a 10th grader at College Ready Academy High School Number 5. Mike, can you describe a time and space or during your training when you've had a close call? Um, you know that's a that's a good question, and I, I would um, I guess I'm going to answer that by saying, you know, Rick talked about all the training we do, and a lot of that training is focused around safety. And so um, what happens with that uh, when you train so much, you, you focus on on keeping things safe, that that a lot of times you may have a close call, but you may not feel like it's a close call because your training kicks in and you react to the situation and uh, and and get get through the problem whatever it may be so I've I've been very fortunate uh, that you know from a close call perspective I don't recall really having any that are, are that bad of course you know we've had some problems outside the station and you know for example uh, in December we had a a problem with the ammonia cooling system and so we had to go out and repair it but again the training kicked in and, and you've got this wonderful support team on on the ground that uh, helps you out and everything went very smooth and safely thank you Johnny and Bethel for the interview now here is Dahlia with some food drive information good morning boxers do you guys want to like to get volunteer hours well this is a great opportunity student council will be hosting a food bank for everyone who would want to join, it's open to everyone. Um, all you got to do is just come over here by the hallway. There's the food bank forms. You get two for, and then um, you have to turn it into Mr. Bush. And if there's none anymore, well, you easily you could just go to the food bank website and just fill up the form or print it out, fill it out, and turn it in. The food bank will take place on March 8th. Um, it will be on a Saturday. It will be from 8 to 12. There will, there will be a transportation provided for you guys, so please come and join for the food bank. Thank you. So oh, yeah, thank you, Dahlia, for the food drive information. Remember, boxes, if you don't have hours, make sure you get them done, or else you will not graduate. And if you're an underclassman, then you can get them started, so you don't have to worry about it in your senior year. And now here's more announcements from National Honor Society with Wilmer and Maria. Okay. Listen up, boxes. This is a message from NHS. We wanted to let you guys know that as of March 3rd, you guys can begin applying to be part of NHS. Um, thank you, Maria and Wilmer, for the National Honor Society message. Remember, boxes, it's for 10 and 11th and 12th only. And I hope you won that soccer game, Maria. And here are our birthdays with Mr. Marola. Good morning, boxers. Happy Monday. Hope you guys had a great weekend. I'm here with this week's birthdays. Let's start with our staff. We have Mr. Wong's birthday on the 23rd, Mr. Bush's birthday on the 25th, and Mr. Padron's birthday on the 28th. So teachers, get ready for a cake-filled week. Make sure you go to the gym. 12th graders, Eduardo Leon's birthday is on the 24th. Ivani Peters is on the 25th, and Jonathan Solis is on the 1st. And Jonathan is an 11th grader, sorry. Along with Jonathan, we have Maria Valdez, and her birthday is on the 28th. 10th graders, we have nobody. And 9th graders, we have triplets on the 23rd. Daniel Jamarillo's birthday is on the 23rd, along with Francisco Mendoza and Kevin Solis. They're not triplets, they just share the same birthday. And we also have Luis Quintana on the 25th. Happy birthday, boxers. Have a great week. Happy birthday, boxers. I hope you guys have a great, great birthday. I don't know. And here is Teresha with Valentine Pictures Information. Hey, boxers. If you attended the Valentine's dance and you took pictures, Come find me, Tarisha Watts, if you want your pictures updated in the yearbook. Bye. Oh, yeah.
these boxers help Teresha gain those pictures to update them in the yearbook so we can all remember those awesome times we had at Formal. And here is SAT Boot Camp with Beto and Maritza. Good morning, boxers. My name is Beto. My name is Maritza. And we're just here for some SAT reminders that Group C is on Tuesday and Group D is on Thursday. Yes, so do not walk your girlfriends or your boyfriends to the bus because regardless, it's going to leave with or without you. Don't hog the poor lady with the hot dog stand. That's sad. I saw her. And she looked really frustrated. Don't do that. One at a time. But either way, you get food if you sign up with IPI. So go to your classes or Ms. Sandoval is going to beat you. She Have a nice week, boxers. Okay, boxers, make sure you attend every session because... You need to do good in the SAT to get into college. And here is a people camp with Mauricio and Beto. One, two, three. Good morning, boxers. My name is Beto. My name is Mauricio. And this is just AP reminder for uh, AP Psychology is on the 24th, and ELA uh, B is on the 25th. ELA C is going to be taken on the 27th. Uh, room 109, uh, and we have AP Spanish that's going to be taken on the 28th. Have a nice week, boxers. Goodbye. Thank you, Beto Mauricio, for the AP boot camp schedules. Make sure you attend every session, boxers, that goes to you, too. And this is a message to all seniors, that class of 2014. Um, here is payments for Ed, and the prom ideas, please go see Simone. Good morning, boxers. My name is Brenda. And my name is Talia. So this is an announcement for all seniors. Remember to pay off your senior fees with Mr. Ed as soon as possible. And seniors, remember to start giving any ideas to Simone regarding prom, such as any theme you would want to be for prom, or any decoration, or anything you would want to see anything included in prom. So, let's make it unforgettable, seniors. Okay. Bye. Bye. Please turn in your payments to Ed so we can all enjoy the senior activities all as a family that we are, class of 2014. And remember, guys, please see Simone if you want to have prom ideas. Be creative so we can all enjoy this special, special day. Have a great week, boxers.